So whether you're an introvert who struggles with having social conversations, or you're just a guy who overthinks a lot, so much so that it leads to you having social anxieties whenever you meet someone new and you don't know what to say, then this video is for you. So my main intention of making this video is by the time you end up finishing watching this video, you will feel comfortable and confident to be able to speak to anyone, anywhere, and at any time. All right, so me and my friend were meeting up at Chelsea in London to go to a restaurant. Now, if you don't know where Chelsea is in London, it's one of the most expensive areas to go to, especially even if you want to buy food. So it was me, my friend, and he surprised me by bringing a female friend with him. I'm really ready for that. Anyway, we went into the restaurant. As soon as we were seated, we got this waitress. Now, I'm not gonna lie. If you saw her, you would have been like, oh my goodness, amazing face, amazing figure. I just looked at my friend and he looked at me, but we knew what we were saying to each other. But you know when you look at a guy, but you don't have to say. We just looked at each other like, God damn. <laughs> I wanted to say something to the person at the time, but my nerves started coming up. And the more I was thinking about what I wanted to say, the more nervous I was getting. So I was like, you know what? Let me play it cool. Let me just order my food. And I looked at the prices. I was like, oh my days. I never knew bread could cost that much. Everything costs three times the price it's supposed to be. Like you will see bread maybe that will cost you like five pounds. There will be like 20 pounds. I'm like, what kind of bread is this? What kind of wheat was made, was used for this bread to cost this much? But obviously, you can't say that because I have her over my shoulder. So, as I was looking at the menu for what I wanted to order, my nerves were kicking in. I started to think what I wanted to say, but my mouth wouldn't say it. And she was just over my shoulder trying to help me to look for what I should order. So, I was like, okay, cool. What's going to be the plan? Now, I'm looking at my friend to see if he's going to try and assist me. He's just like, he's giving me that, you know, that nod like, you'll just say something, innit? And the female friend was just there looking at me, looking at her, looking at me. And I was like, all right, cool. Why do I have an audience now? It makes it even worse because now if it was just a one-on-one -on -one situation, then I could have done what I wanted to do. Now there's an audience. Now I start to overthink of what I want to say because there's two people looking and judging me. And judging me. And I hated that because now I feel like I have to now think of the smartest thing to say just so that I can get this person's attention and I feel like that's where the mistake was because I kept overthinking of what I needed to say when I came back to my senses she was gone to another table so I looked at my friend and my friend was like yo what do you think she looks nice I think she likes you I'm like she should I hope so and then the female friend said yeah she was very very close when she was looking at the menu why didn't you just say something I'm like that was that is my intention to say something so I was like do you know what F it let me go to the toilet I went to the toilet, walked past her, gave a smile quickly. She smiled back, washed my hands, came back and sat down. Then eventually she came back to the table again. So I thought, you know what, how about instead of me just telling her that I like how her hair looks or the smile or her outfit, how about I start with something easy? How about I ask her to suggest me something that would be nice to eat in the restaurant? And she was kind enough to go through a couple of things that she really liked herself. So I thought like, okay, cool. That's an entry point. There's a conversation. We've started something. We've started the dialogue. Then I asked her, what does she like to eat aside from these type of places? And then she started to tell me what she likes, what she enjoys. Then she asked me, what about me? Then I started to talk about what I enjoy, what I like. And then I took that conversation and I led it into another conversation. And I asked her, has she ever tried food from my country? She's never really tried it. She's never had anyone to go to these type of places with. And then I was like, mm swing were in there guys and the reason that was a swing was because when she said that she's never had someone to go there with her i just used that line to insert myself into being the person that she needed to make sure she goes to these places with yeah i got the number now i want to talk about the main thing that was stopping me through that exchange of conversation and usually i'm very comfortable and confident to speak to anybody but because in my mind i felt like i liked the idea of this person and the look of this person. And I felt like in my mind, I did not want to get rejected from this person or I had some type of idea of how I would look if I got rejected from this person, Spe specifically when I was in front of my friends and someone I just met that was new that I never knew before. That was what was, that was the main thing that was stopping me. That was the main thing that was slowing me down because I felt like I will feel some type of shame if it did happen in front of them and they would make fun of me. But in reality, it 
doesn't exist, like it would even matter because I'm gonna benefit from this conversation and the situation would be me and the person I'm speaking to. Aside from that, whether they said yes or no, my life wouldn't change. I would just carry on living my life and then moving on to someone else or moving on to speaking to someone else. In my mind, when I looked at the pros and the cons, I always thought to myself, well, the pros is everything I want. The cons is everything that's in my head. So the pros is everything that could potentially happen. The cons is everything that I can manage mentally. The pros is what I want to do. The cons is I'm the only person stopping me from doing it. After that, everything clicked. I asked myself, when I'm around friends, I'm very comfortable, especially with a friend that was across me that was sitting next to me, right? So I can see wherever I want, however I want, regardless of what would happen, the consequences. Of course, they're my friend. They would accept me for who I am. And regardless of where our relationship is now, when it's someone new, I'm nervous to lose someone or the idea of someone that's not even close to me, which to me seemed ridiculous. So I thought to myself, okay, the purpose of getting to know someone is getting to know someone. And how do you get to know someone? By literally asking them questions about themselves and asking them questions that they would like, which is why I asked her, because she worked there, what would you recommend me to eat in this place? And then from recommend me to eat in this place, I went on to ask her what are the type of foods she's ever tried before. You know, I brought it back to myself, like, so that way she can maybe look and start a conversation with me. Have you ever tried food from my country? I told her where I was from. She told me where she was from. And then after that, we built a rapport. And then I said, hey, have you ever tried food from my country? And she said, no, she's never had a chance to. And she's never had someone to take her, take her there. And in my mind, I was like, well, that's a no brainer. I feel like I'm good looking guy. I feel like I'm handsome. I'm very confident. You should go with me. And she was like, yeah, that sounds great. Let's make it happen. And that's when we exchange numbers. One of the main things we need to talk about is choices. It's either you take the choice of doing what you said you would do for yourself because that's what you want, or you can live with the idea of the what if. What if I said this? What if I did that? Or maybe I should have said this, or maybe I should approach it this way. There's not necessarily a right way to approach something. There's a wrong way, of course. Like, you know, you don't want to end up going to someone and then looking all creepy and shit. But you want to fucking go to the person and say what you mean and mean what you say. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, I used to work as a door salesman. Well, what does this mean? I would go to people's doors and I would try to sell them like, you know, satellite dishes and, and things like that. Um, or like a satellite provider. And every time I would knock on someone's door, right, the thing that helped me at the beginning, like I was nervous, like I was absolutely nervous. I don't know these people and I'm trying to get them to sign a contract as soon as I speak to them in front of the door. But the thing that was so nerve wracking about that is they can just maybe, I don't know, it was always in my head, right? I always felt like someone would do something worse, something worse to me than I was thinking or I was thinking the worst. And I'm like, wait. These people, if they try to do something to me, they will get arrested. Oh, I will fight them, eh? You know what I'm saying? By the way, the accent is African and I'm, I'm African. So anyway, I remember approaching this guy, knocking on his door, right? First time I was doing it, I was nervous. And the thing that was pu um, pushing me through this nerve was the fact that I knew a script. Like, I had a script memorized, right? And I had the first line memorized and I knew, oh, this person's going to say this, then I'm going to say this, this person's going to say this. As soon as I said the first line, the person went off script. They went off script and I was like this, oh my days, panic mode, panic mode. What do I say? I kid you not, I started stuttering. I sounded like Buster Rhymes. Like I literally sounded like Buster Rhymes. And then as I was just there thinking and stuttering, I just stopped talking and the person just stood there and listened and waited for me to say something. Like they literally just waited for me to say something. So I thought to myself, wait. I can say anything in this moment and this person would listen to me and believe me, regardless of whether they think it's true or not, but they just have no reason not to believe what I have to say. So I literally came up with the most random stuff, conversation about what they were wearing. And, like I, and I always made it about that person, right? And I, you know, I said, you know what? You know, I'm here to sell you Sky Digital. And they said, uh, no, I don't need it. Um, I don't even like watching TV. And I was like, whoa, who doesn't like watching TV? That's what I was saying to my head. Um, so I was like, oh, do you know what? Really? Um, what, are you an outgoing person? Because your shoes look like you're the type of person that runs a lot because they had like really, really nice trainers on. And then they started telling me about how um, they do like um, going out and like hiking and so forth and things like that. And I started asking them how long they've been hiking for. And the person started telling me that, oh yeah, this is something they've taken up so that way they can get back into their health. 
And then from that conversation, then I was able to turn it around and then say, well, do you know that there's like channels dedicated to these kind of things? Like if you want to really be into your fitness, if you really want to be into hiking or the latest type of uh, shoes or trainers that pertains to you wanting to be outdoorsy and so forth. And the person then went on to be like, oh, really? Because I found a way, right? Instead of just thinking about myself, I found a way to take their interest and then relate it to what I want to give to them. So that way they could be interested in what I want to give to them. If you get what I'm saying, does that make sense? And I hope it does make sense to you because sometimes when we get stuck about what we want to say, I feel like the questions you want to ask are in front of you, right? Like you can literally just look at the person and find something about them that interests you. Now you might say, what if they have nothing about them that interests you? Then you ask them a question about why, like, you know, oh, how comes you, why did you go with that outfit today? Or is it because you had your hair this way or that way? Or, you know, you find, you look at a girl that you like, oh, how comes you decided to wear that bag? It looks really nice. So, you know, you can go complimentary, then you go with the outfit. Then, you know, you can ask them questions or recommendations. Like, you know, once when you ask someone for someone's help, usually they feel good because they just help someone to get something that they know that they have a lot of intelligent and skill at, do you know what I'm saying? And it makes them feel good. And then you are also the reason why that happened. Or maybe you might want to ask a question about just where they are, like how long you've been, how long you've been here for, like you know, what's the best thing to do at this location, or anything that you can think of that's in front of you. Like every time you speak to someone that's new, try to make the conversation about them a little bit, and then bring it back to you if there's someone that might be not necessarily good at talking. So that way you can carry on the conversation and eventually the more you speak about them, the more likely they're going to start speaking about you. So yeah, guys, I dare you to go outside today and try this. And I promise you, try this with just one of your friends, someone that you know, right? And I promise you, just start talking about them. Like think about how you even managed to make a friend in the first place. Like think about like if you're a guy, right? And you meet another guy, like how did you make friends with them? Like maybe they like anime and you like the same anime, right? And you start asking them about their favorite character, right? And then boom, you guys became friends. Or think about every single relationship you made and how it started. You're probably going to be like, oh, it's the vibe, it's a vibe. No, it's not just a vibe. It's the fact that you had a way to connect with the other person. And they felt close to you because of that connection. But if you're someone that also still struggles with overthinking and you want to build your confidence, there's a book that I've got linked in the bio that shows you how to use overthinking as your superpower that gives you the confidence to be able to approach any person and talk to them how you want to talk to them and how to guide the conversation. Just a little bit of manipulation to a certain extent. I'm not gonna lie, there's a little bit of manipulation there, but for the most part, it gives you like things to look out for within yourself, like your triggers, things that make you socially anxious because anxieties is the lack of understanding the environment you're in. The more you understand something, the less anxious you're more likely to be. But if you get this book, it has everything that you need to deal with social anxieties. Now, of course, I always say that when you go to the gym and you do certain things about for yourself that make you feel confident, the more confident you feel in yourself, the more confident you have in your looks, in who you are, in how you move, the more it exudes in other people and the energy will gravitate to other people. That's why when I speak to individuals and I say certain things and I know how to approach them, or even if I don't know how to approach them, I think of something on the spot and because I'm confident within myself, I go there with the intention that the likelihood that I feel like they're more likely to want to speak to me. I wouldn't go to speak to someone and think, oh, they're going to reject me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Even if it crosses my mind, but my intentions is if I go to speak to the person, eight out of 10 times, they would like to speak to me as well. And for me to do that is for me to take an interest into them because I'm the one that's entering their lives. It's not the other way around. If they were entering my life, they would take a liking to me. So that way they would start asking me questions. So I feel like by doing that, the person would want to speak to me a lot more. And because they would want to speak to me a lot more because I've just given them value, they would like to enjoy my company. And if you do the same, like do it today, like as I promise you, do it today, you will see the change. But if you do want more help and assistance to take you from your journey from A, to Z with regards to how to deal with overthinking, I recommend you get this book or you can message me on Instagram and the links will be in the bio. Yeah, so if this helped you a lot, make sure to subscribe.
make sure to leave a comment message me on instagram again if you need any extra assistance and yeah subscribe and i'll see you soon